might be hard to tell who I'm voting for. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Jolly Holiday with Mary. I am Mary. Today I am putting my two cents in on a very controversial topic. Disney cats versus Disney dogs. So my friend Matt over at Teacup for One made this super fun Disney tag. In the month of February, people are casting their votes for Disney cats and Disney dogs that they love. So at the end of the month, we can figure out are Disney dogs more popular or Disney cats? And like I said, I think you could probably tell what my vote would be for but there are rules. You have to pick at least one cat and at least one dog, so you can't do 100% cats or 100% dogs. I was surprised actually how many cats I had on my list, but I mean, even though I don't have cats, I have had cats in the past and six-year-old Mary was all about the cats. So she came out quite a bit in this little tag. So let's get started. He has 10 prompts. They are super fun. <laughs> So 10 questions that we have to answer. And number one is best personality. <laughs> I went with Pongo. I know I'm starting off strong with dogs, but he's just such a good guy. He's a good pet. He is super smart. He knows what time it is. He knows how to change the clock. He's also a good dog husband. Is that a thing? <laughs> to Perdita. He takes such good care of her. He seems very calm for her kind of like anxious personality. So he's a good dog husband. He's also a great dog dad. All of his puppies look up to him. And then of course, when the puppies go missing, he takes charge and he's like, okay, we're this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna fix this. So he's just like a super great dude. Number two is best song. I had to give this to a dog also because he's a tramp, I think is just like the best. It's one of those songs you, you turn up the volume. You know what cats don't do? Bark. <laughs> That's a point for them. One moment. Hi, sweetie. What's the matter? What happened? Tell me. What happened? He's okay. Good girl. Go get that boy. Okay. Best song, He's a Tramp. That is like a turn it up in the car, sing along kind of song. You can't hear Tramp without singing, he's a tramp. That wins best song for me. Best design, okay, this one goes to the cats because it's one thing to design a cool cat, but it's another thing to take like a really cool looking human and make them into a cat. So, <laughs> Cat Yzma has to win for me for best design. <laughs> they made her like the cutest, fluffiest little evil being and it's so perfect for cats because cats are so cute, but they can be such little, you know what? So <laughs> her laugh is the best, like her mouth gets so big. Where is it? Where is Looking it? for this. Is that my voice? Is that my voice? Oh well. No, no, don't drop it! I'm not going to drop it, you fool. I'm going to drink it. And once I turn back into my beautiful self, I'm going to kill you! <laughs> Cat Yzma is the best. <laughs> Number four is favorite voice act <laughs> Good one, Matt. This was super, super hard. Super hard. And the majority of my favorite voice actors were cats. So this one I picked, I actually picked because I love him in a different role. But since I have to pick a cat or a dog, I picked his one cat role. And that is Sterling Holloway, <laughs> which is like the coolest name ever. But he is the voice of Winnie the Pooh, and he also played Cheshire Cat, but I much prefer him as Winnie the Pooh. I'm actually not a huge fan of Cheshire Cat. I know he's like a fan favorite and lots of people love him. His animations are great. He's very like, 
he's just super whimsical kind of cat but I'm just not really that big on Alice in Wonderland to begin with it's fine I, I used to watch it a ton but it's not like one of my go-to movies but I freaking love Sterling Holloway and you can hear him doing anything and you're like, oh my god, that's Winnie the Pooh It's just so iconic. It brings back so many memories. So he has to win for best voice actor Number five is your pet Tronus. So if you're not familiar with Harry Potter, a Patronus is the animal that would come out of your wand if you need protection or something like that. So like Harry's is a deer, I think, if that's right. So this is where six-year-old Mary came out. And I, as a six-year-old with a blackish cat, she was a tabby cat, but she was mostly dark brown and black. Like her little lines and stuff were brown and black. I really wanted a black cat when I was little and she was like the closest option. <laughs> so, so six-year-old Mary used to be in love with Bagheera from the Jungle Book. And I'm pretty sure this is the one that Matt chose too, but I just had to choose it because he's just like, he's that steady person. And I don't know, I think if I needed a Patronus, I would want Bagheera. He would, he's just like, He's got the sly cat thing, but he's also just very level-headed. <laughs> Six-year-old Mary made me pick it. Number six is most quotable. It's pretty self-explanatory, and I think the most quotable dog or cat has to be Doug from Up. Like, so many good quotes. My name is Doug. I have just met you, and I love you. <laughs> <laughs> my master made me this collar. He is a good and smart master and he made me this collar so that I may talk. Squirrel! I'm a great tracker. Did I mention that? <laughs> hey, that is a bird. I have never seen one up close, but this is the bird. May I take your bird back to camp as my prisoner? You learn how to bark like a real dog. Oh, I can bark. <laughs> and here's howling. <laughs> oh, please, oh, please, oh, please be my prisoner. Find Kevin. Find the bird. Find the bird. Point! Oh look, there he is! Number seven is most underrated. This one went to a cat because there's no more underrated hero than Sergeant Tibbs from 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> he is like the backbone to the puppies being saved. If not for Sergeant Tibbs, I think the puppies would all have been murdered. That sheepdog, what? Why is he in charge? He doesn't do anything. He couldn't understand what the guy was saying. Puddles, 15 stolen puddles? No, Sergeant Tibbs saved the day. He remembered Hell Hall, he remembered hearing barking. Like, he is the only reason that those puppies survived that movie. So he is extremely underrated and he needs to be recognized for the hero that he is. Number eight is Funniest Furry Friend. I actually have two they 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 go hand in hand so it'll only count as one but it's the same scene but there are two dogs in it and it is from aristocats <laughs> let me know if you remember napoleon and lafayette 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 well i'm right here listen wheels approaching oh napoleon we on bet six tires today chase four motor cars and a bicycle and a scooter now you go for the tires, and I'll go right for the seat of the problem. How come you always grab a tender part for yourself? <laughs> Cause I outrank you, that's why. You can be replaced, you know. Okay, let's charge. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm the leader. I'm the one that says when we go. Here we go. Charge! <laughs> Lafayette, Lafayette, listen. Where's my hat? Where? And somebody stole my bumper shoot. Well, where's my Betty Bye basket? The little short dog steps into the shoes and starts making the squeaking noise and then they like bump it. You know, it's just, <laughs> it's so funny. And they have some really funny lines. I don't necessarily love like violent humor where like he bops them on the head. Other than that, I think they're really funny. They're super cute. <laughs> anyway, okay. Number nine is favorite park pal. And this can be somebody who you can meet in the parks or someone you would like to meet in the parks. And I really struggled with this one. I think a pal that I would really love to meet would be Stella from Princess and the Frog. Especially like 
if it was a Halloween meet and greet and she could have her little like thing with the little skirt like she's dressed up for the masquerade party or even during Mardi Gras there could be a masquerade party and they could have characters come out like in their masquerade outfits and if they had a Stella game over that would be the best meet and greet she's so cute and I love that she has one line in that movie Tiana <laughs> it's like I just talked to a dog. It's just so great. I freaking love Stella. And Stella is such a great name, such a great dog name. It works too for yelling. If you need to yell at your dog in the backyard or something, you can just imitate. Um... What's the actor's name from uh, Streetcar Named Desire? Uh, Brando. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. You can just yell it like Marlon Brando. <laughs> It'll be amazing. Um, okay, and then number 10 is the perfect pet. And I feel like I technically already have the perfect pets, but there's a Disney version of my perfect Disney pets, and his name is Winston, and he is from the short film Feast. Winston, the little blue, they call it blue, but he's gray, Boston Terrier. He has his own short, and we, we saw that short before we even had Boston Terriers, and after that I was just like, this is the dog for us. <laughs> he's so stinking cute. I have two Winston like pieces of merch and he's just he's super underrated too but I think he's amazing it's such a cute short and it's on Disney plus so go check it out but he is legit my perfect Disney pet and Edie my little girl dog looks exactly like him I took a picture of the pin that I have with her and they look exactly the same <laughs> it's like my favorite thing ever so there you go uh, let's see one two four five, six. All right, six points for dogs, four points for cats. It's more than I was expecting, so good luck to the Disney dogs. I hope they get lots of votes. If cats win, I won't be upset. I do love the Disney cats too. Have you seen that denim jacket with all the cats on it? Loki really want that. <laughs> it's so cute. I'm gonna tag Matt's hashtag so that he can count this. Thank you, Matt, for making this tag. It's super, super fun. It really worked my brain. This took me forever to put together because I just wanted to be super accurate with all of my answers and you can't use the same name twice. And so that made it really hard too. I wish Miko counted as a dog because he'd definitely be in that list. <laughs> Anywho, that's it guys. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and go check out everybody else's. He's gonna make a playlist on his channel. I will link him above, go check it out. Go watch his video too, cause he's wildly entertaining. <laughs> All right, I'll see you next time. Don't stay away too long.